is Emilio from Tower of Power. What's going on, everybody? This is Marcus Scott, and he's hopeless from Tower of Power. This is Gay Radio 1, baby. What is him? Come on, your your drink back. He's holding the him back. But you ain't just exactly super zoo. Listening to Brigade Radio One. Quote unquote capital serious entertainment where you're making a point. You know? <laughs> and, and, but, but you can't, but it's hard to do. You can certainly African American filmmakers can make those same movies and those same jokes, but you know, it, now there has to be kind of this authorship or you are, you are running a risk. Yeah, you're running a risk and people think you're. You're making fun when you're actually not. Hey, I have a side note to the Poseidon conversation, which is there was a film called The Last Voyage directed by Andrew Stone. Do you know it? With no. Woody Strode and no. a bunch of actors. I it love was in Woody the Strode. Late, yeah, I was a big fan of his, too. too. Especially in Once Upon a Time in the West for That's 30 the, seconds. the greatest opening of yeah. every <laughs> any film ever. I know. Can Once you Upon it? a Time in the West. Can, and Woody can, Strode, Jack Elam. I know. Oh, my <laughs> God. They're like the hardcore and, the, you know, talk about a guy who can sell you on showing up to get killed in three minutes, Sergio Leone. You know, that's and, like a, I timed it once. That's a 20-minute opening. Oh, is it? When those bad guys are waiting for the train and the drips on their hat. Tukung, the fly. Tukung, the fly. And then Jack Elam catches it and he's listening to it in the gun barrel. That is a one creepy. And the yeah. and the and the windmill is going. Right. Rah, I love rah, that the water rah, dripping rah, on Woody's rah. hat. And he, <laughs> he doesn't even move, but it bothers the fuck out of the audience. Finally, he takes it, he <laughs> drinks it, and then he puts his head back on. There's like it, that that you could study that 20 minute opening in every film school and would say this is what filmmaking is. If you try to do anything else, you're kidding yourself. And he opens like the special customized 22 just to get oh. killed. You know, but somebody I, told I like me the train drives away and. They're all standing there, and he's not on the train, Charles Bronson. Oh, no. And they start to walk away. And then yeah, you hear the harmonica, right. and he looks at them, and, they, and Bronson goes, Did Frank send you? Yeah, Frank sent us. <laughs> Did you bring a horse for me? No, nah, we seem to be one shy. And Bronson goes, No. Nah. You brought two too many horses. And, such, <laughs> and they go, whoa! I mean, it's such a brilliant opening. And what then like, opening. like lightning, they're all dead. Yeah. You know, somebody told me there was different stories about who was supposed to play those three guys. Oh. And somebody said that Sergio actually went to Eastwood to play the third guy, who was also from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Yeah. Who's passed away now. I think they're all gone now. Uh. And he, that was the original play, was let's get the good, let's get the ugly Oh, and let's get the, oh. the good, uh, oh. and possibly even Lee Van Cleef. I think they were going to try and re- work in a way to get the character from the movie that before. That would be too weird. That's well, too meta. He, that can't be but you know, he's also, But he also plays basically the same part in A Few Dollars More. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That was the idea, but of they, course they, they never They cast that perfect. To, to kill Jack Elam and Woody Strode in the first few minutes like that, that's always good yeah. mm-hmm. filmmaking to yeah. me. You know, I was shocked when they all went down like that. Cause I not, thought, since, uh, not since... Uh, Steven Janet. Seagal died oh. in executive decision. Oh, when he got sucked out of the plane yes. and everything? That's wild. Yeah. I've heard different stories about that. That was right after I started at Warner Brothers 2. I, my, the, one of the stories being he was supposed to be in the whole movie. You better subscribe to this channel before you look uncool. 